Oh, that's those trees, Mary. I love the visuals for that one. Um, and given that this has all been done in and since lockdown, where are the trees, Mary? <laughs> where are the trees from? <laughs> the, the trees are not my trees. The trees don't belong to anybody. But these trees live in uh, my next door neighbor's back garden. And he said we could come and take some rhubarb. He's away. So I took some rhubarb and I took some footage of some trees. They're beautiful. They're um, apple and pear and cherry blossom. And it's a beautiful garden. And I had to lep over like a meter and a half high wall to do it. But I think it was worth it. They're gorgeous. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> And I was just saying as well, it's so mad to see an airplane. You kind of go, oh, God, yeah, I haven't seen one of them in a while. <laughs> yeah, I, I think we're, we're under the one of the North American routes, but yeah, we don't hear them anymore. So maybe that was one of the last ones. Um, yeah, yeah, that yeah, poem yeah. is a poem that I really love. And I heard that for the first time at your wedding now. Um, I was just wondering, did you write that for your wedding? I actually wrote it a good bit before the wedding, um, but I hadn't quite finished it. So it's lovely. It kind of came to life again around the time of the wedding and was actually um, first published, in fact, coincidentally, the week of the wedding. So that was really nice and kind of serendipitous. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, no, thank you for what you what you made of it. Actually, I love it. I had good fun doing my shimmery thing. <laughs> And and, just, and Ronan loves it, presumably. He, he, he does. No, he looks very that. pleased at your wedding anyway. Why, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? Um, I think the next video we're going to do is uh, the longest one and the last one that we, we made together. And um, this video is called Whale Song. Whale Song. On Sunday night at 8pm, the batteries on Fort Camden and Carlisle opened fire on suspicious objects in the water, believed to have been a German submarine. During the firing, two of the shells from the batteries ricocheted off the water, passing to the mainland of Crosshaven. One shell burst, but the other did not. No harm was done by the shells landing on the mainland and nothing has transpired as to the effect of the engagement with the supposed unwelcome visitor to the harbour. Southern Star, January 1915. Squealing and keening it entered the sea seeking each breach of defence, echoing beyond its reach. How my sowing and spouting set it off is not known, ploughing through the sound I thought I was bound for home. But when the sky darkened at four, I knew I had come too far, out of my glutinous smooth waters. It wheeled past me, air itself splintered, the sea it cracked from side to side, then bubbled and churned pig iron. So hearing smelted and fell in great hissing drops to the sea floor. Song stood still, listening was lifted on the swell and sucked back into its vacuum. It set off a wave that gathered oceans to itself, collapsed as sound. Oh, I just honestly, the cello is such a beautiful instrument, Mary. And I'm just, it's funny, I was just looking at your biog again. I was thinking about um, 
stuff I've seen and the fact that you run Spike, the alternative cello festival, um, but also like all the collaborations you do with other people. And so many of them are music and cello based um, as well as your own recordings. And I just was wondering about where the cello, where you started actually, or what, what drew you to the cello? Oh, I was given it at this school. I mean, really, <laughs> really. I was I was just given a cello at school. I wanted to play the flute really badly, and um, I don't want to play the flute, but I do play the flute really badly. But I don't want to play it really badly anymore. Um, I I just love playing the cello. I think it's really versatile. That's one of the things about the Spike Festival. You can do other things mm. with it, do all sorts of noises with it, and um, that's what I was maybe trying a tiny bit to do in that in the whale song. Mm. Um, you know, when you sit in front of a group of kids, one of the things, the first things they ask you to do is um, to play this, which is Jaws, sort of. And, and it just can make really weird video, noises. <laughs> no, you can't have that in the video. And the, the other thing I do with kids is we quite often do a, a horror film, um, soundtrack to a horror film. and. It's just good for all those kind of weird noises, but especially sea kind of noises. I think it, it really lends itself yeah, to it. So yeah, I really yeah. enjoyed writing for a whale song. <laughs> and it's a beautiful poem. No and and Nell, you were telling me, you mentioned that that was um, part of a commission. Yeah, that's right. I was, um, it's a couple of years ago, I was commissioned by Cork County Council to do a whole book around um, this amazing military fort called Fort Camden, which is kind of at the mouth of um, Cork Harbour. So I spent, kind of weeks down there kind of talking to people and researching and I was looking for a way into writing a poem about a sea animal and then I found that clip it was actually an archive clip from the Southern Star from that newspaper and the whale kind of appeared from that so it's great to see it um to see it kind of with music as well actually it's lovely <laughs> yeah yeah from exactly, exactly music from the depths yeah yeah, yeah why yeah. don't um why don't we try and do something live together? I think that would be cool at the end. I think we should do that. I think we should go for it. What about um, a composer walks the catacombs? It's a yeah, cheery I love little that one. one. <laughs> <laughs> the catacombs are happy places. I know. <laughs> a composer walks the catacombs. The composer walks the catacombs, hums each resonance as it travels through stone, through the stacked dead and their layers of bone. So each note, whoop and noise rattles where marrow no longer resides. The edge on thighs of nine million citizens sucked dry by time. The hum runs up and down the scales of vertebrae, moves on to living quarters above, every fleshed out space a receptacle for sound. It settles as a composition of bells running its roughened tongue along the skyline. Excellent, thank you. <laughs> thank you, now that was great. Oh, um, thank, you. thank you all so much for listening. I'm gonna put my cello down and now I'm going to um, have a small glass of wine and we put those videos we launched a channel called resonate on the youtube 
Uh, quarantine. The, 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 Love to uh, cheers. Quarantine <laughs> and the Rioja. Cheers to you all. Uh, thank you for your watching so much. Um, it was so much fun to get together. Over to Nell to say goodbye. And Bye from me. Also, just to say that we're going to put up um, our website details after this if you'd like to buy books or um, Mary's excellent debut album, Into Air and which would be a great lockdown presence for you or someone else you know and um, but also before we go I just want to say a huge thank you to Sandra Mahoney sound engineer extraordinaire who very kindly and calmly stepped in to give us a hand and yeah thank you all hope you have a good um evening and keep well and safe and talk to you soon here's to the lock-in <laughs> <laughs> cheers <laughs> good night bye, guys thank you. bye <laughs>